Young people, what fills your time? It's a word to go to win the prize. Take our cross and follow Christ. With this generation, soul by soul. Unashamed to claim the gospel of hope. This is the vision, achievers, and mission for Christ. An achiever and mission enjoys Jesus. Spend time with Jesus every day, Amers. Jesus is all that we have and Jesus is all that we should enjoy. So come now, young people, and let us worship our faithful Jesus Christ. I am Pastor Mark and welcome to Hey Youth. 1 Thessalonians 5.21 But examine everything carefully, hold fast to that which is good. So today we are going to discuss about the cancel culture. So what is cancel culture? So cancel culture or call out culture is a modern form of ostracism in which someone is thrust out of social or professional circles online on social media in the real world or both. Some recent happening of this is hashtag cancel Netflix and hashtag cancel Korea. So it is really like an online rally asking people to join you to get your desired outcome. So cancel culture actually came into a collective consciousness around 2017 after the idea of 
canceling celebrities for problematic actions or statements became popular. Now the question is, should we be part of this hashtag cancel culture campaign? Actually, we are already doing this in our personal lives. Remember, if your friends change, change friends. Surely there are people whom we are not hanging out anymore. But in the case of your friends, do not cancel them out with just one single mistake. Be a good friend. Correct them. Help them out. And the thing that we should never do is to make a campaign against anyone and talk about it online. Romans 12 verse 7, Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. A lot of netizens have been expressing their discontent with the government and they even have a cancel hashtag for it. But what does the Bible tell us to do? 1 Timothy 2 verse 1 and 2, I urge then first of all that petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. So instead of trashing or ranting about the government in Facebook or Twitter and canceling them out, pray for them. Another effect of this cancel culture is this. Things that you've done or you posted long ago can be dug up and brought up, thus affecting your life today and your career. So what can we learn about that? You need to be careful what you post online. If there are things that we should be canceling in our lives, it should be bad influences. This can be relationships, entertainment, artist, music, and whatever. 1 Corinthians 15.33 Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. So there are even artists that I do not even listen to right now. Why? Because I don't want to be influenced and be associated with them. 1 Corinthians 5 verse 11 But I am now writing to you not to associate with anyone who bears the name of brother if he is guilty of sexual immorality or greed or is an idolater, reviler, drunkard, or swindler, not even to eat with such a one. So there are things that we should not be even be associated. I believe there are movies, there are TV shows, there are vloggers that you should not be watching and associating yourself with. Well, so guys, what can we say about cancel culture? Remember to be like Christ. Isaiah 42 verse 1 and 2 Behold my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry aloud or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. So if we want change, do not post online. Do not create an online rally or air your negative opinions online. Instead, pray for them. And let's keep sharing the Word of God. So that's it, Kaimers. Remember to always be like Christ. Hello there, Amers. Welcome again to our Amplified segment. Let us open our Bibles in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written, in it for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success so all throughout this week you want to talk about getting plugged into jesus this is love month let us get plugged into jesus young people aimers get connected to jesus if you have been disconnected to jesus because of lockdown it is about time by the grace of god come to jesus once again he loves you so much so for today you want to talk about spending more time with jesus the lord gave us his word this is how we connect with jesus just like how you connect with a person through your friend to your parents to your classmates to your professors through time if you don't spend time with them you are not connected so it's the same how do we stay connected to jesus how do we get plugged into jesus by spending time with Him. 
So the Bible says here in Joshua 1 verse 8, Meditate on the, on the law of the Lord. Meditate on God's word day and night. Day and night. So let's talk about two things tonight, this evening, Amers. Number one, spending time in His presence. And number two, spending time in His word. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. For everything, there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. So our object lesson for tonight is a watch. Now what you see right now on the screen is a watch. Watch represent time. Time is something that we all have. Regardless if you are an old man, an old lady, or a young man, a young lady, you have time. Regardless if you are rich or poor, you have time. Regardless if you are a boy or a girl, you have time. Regardless if you are a student or not, or not in school, out of school right now, you still have time. This is how we plug into Jesus. The more time we spend with Jesus, the more that we are plugged in. The more that we spend time with Jesus, the more that we get to know who Jesus is. If you have a hard time sleeping at night, young people, aimers, what do you do? We see it all in the billboards. Talk to the shepherd. Don't count the sheep. Don't get too busy with the things of this world. Don't get too busy doing your own stuff. Get busy with Jesus. Get busy talking to the shepherd. Get busy talking to our master. Amers, if we are really saying that we are an achiever in mission in Christ, then we need to be an achiever first in our relationship with Jesus. Let me repeat that. If we want to be an achiever in mission in Christ, we want to do the Great Commission. We want to get more young people get water baptized. You want to get more young people in the services. You want to get more young people joining us in our SNL youth service via Zoom every Sunday at 12.30. You're going to get more young people joining us in our campus go groups. Then what do we do? We need to first become an achiever in our relationship with Jesus. Taking time in His presence, number one. The Lord gave us His word. This is how we connect with Jesus. You spend time in His presence. How much do you love the presence of God? How much do you love spending time in worship, praying in tongues, singing in tongues, enjoying basking in the presence of our wonderful Savior Jesus? Taking time in His Word. Taking time in His Word. Joshua 1 verse 8. Again, it says there, this book of the law, the word of God, the Bible, should not depart from our mouth. Should not depart from our mouth. And we are to really make sure that a day will not pass by without us spending time in His word. Meditating on the word of the law, word of God, day and night. Don't just read the Bible in the morning. Don't just read the Bible at night. Read the Bible every time. So right now, I want to pray for you. I want to pray that we will truly become an achiever in our relationship with Jesus before we can be an achiever in mission in Christ. Father, we thank you so much for reminding us tonight that we are to get plugged into Jesus, that we are to take time in your presence, take time in your word, enjoy your presence more than anything else. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. You are an achiever in mission in Christ. Mm -hmm.